Hey guys, John here with RealTruck.com, and I'm going to show you how to install the Truxedo Truck Sport Tunnel Cover on this 2016 Chevy. So we've got everything out of the box and you can see here that it comes complete with everything you need to put this on the truck. It comes with, of course, your tunnel cover itself, both your right and left side rails and a bulkhead seal. And this part is really kind of cool. These are seals that are gonna go on the ends of your end caps here to help seal that up as well. And it comes with your clamps to attach it. So let's get this on the truck. Before we get too carried away and start attaching our tunnel cover to our truck, uh, the first thing we're going to do is attach this bulkhead seal, which they sent with it, which is really cool. And the way you do that is first of all, make sure that everything is good and clean and then take like an alcohol prep pad and just rub, rub it down just to get all the extra dirt and stuff that might still be on there. Just a real quick uh, clean here and uh, make sure that this is dry before you start installing the seal, which is very easy to do. And uh, We'll get that on here and make sure everything seals up good. And we'll take our seal. Now, when we start putting this on, what we wanna do is make sure that we start it where it's gonna go because it's gonna stick pretty, pretty well. And we're gonna put it right here along the edge of our bulkhead and we wanna try and keep it as straight as possible because that'll help to ensure that you have a good seal up here to keep water and dirt and other stuff out of your bed. When we get to the other side, we have a little extra and uh, that's not a, a big deal. We'll just take a pair of scissors and we're just gonna cut it off and there we go. Once we get that all in place, just rub it down real good to make sure that it sticks well and pull the protective backing off of it and boom. Now we're ready to start putting our end cap seals on our rails and get ready to put those on the truck. We're gonna attach our weather seals to the ends of our rails and it's really simple to do. Just peel them off of the placard they come on and just attach them right in the same position that you can see the shape of them already. Press them down real good to make sure they stick well. And do the same thing to the other one. And it's important, folks, that you do put these on here because this is what's going to help to seal up the corners on your tunnel cover. If you don't put them on, you're going to get water and other stuff in there. And if you notice, there's a couple left over. Um, don't throw these away because you're going to need these uh, later in the installation, and I'll show you where those go. Once we have our seals in place, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our tunnel cover up on the bulkhead of the truck and then set our rail up on top of our bed rail. And the reason why we need to do that is because this rail has to attach to the, the tunnel cover itself. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that here. So if you want to just take a look here, we're going to put this together just like this. Take this part of our rail and we're going to slide it in here to the tunnel cover piece and just push it in just like so. And then we're going to go over and do the one on the other side and we're going to attach it exactly the same way. So once we have our rails attached to our tunnel, the next thing we're going to do is make sure that we have it set properly on the truck. And uh, the easiest thing to do is get yourself a little piece of something that's an, that is measured out to an eighth inch thick. Um, I just have this little piece of hard plastic that I use just makes it easier and you want to make sure that you have an eighth of an inch of space between your tailgate header here and the rail so we're going to put that in there and then we're just going to slide this forward until it matches up to there and that's going to let us know that we're at, at an eighth of an inch of space and then we'll go and do the same thing on the other side and then we'll be ready to start attaching our clamps Okay, once we have everything adjusted and set where it's going to go, um, make sure, guys, before you get your clamps on, that you have this rail lined up so that it's running parallel with your, with your bed rail. And then take your clamp and slip it on just like so. And you want to make sure that you have it as far forward here as you can. And once you have it in place, then go ahead and tighten it up.
And then we're going to do the same thing with the other two. We're going to put this one as close to the center as we can. And then we'll do the back one. And on the back one, just like the front, we want to put this back one as close to the back as we can. And then we're going to go over and do the other side and we're going to do it exactly the same way as we did this side. So we'll get that one done and then we'll show you what the next step is. Once we have our rails attached, we want to double check our clearance. Go ahead and close up the tailgate and just check to make sure you still got your eighth inch and it looks like we do on this side and double check this side. We're good there too. So we're gonna roll our cover out. And then here on the ends, you guys can see here, it has a very similar shape to it as the ends of our rails did. That's where we're going to attach those other foam seals. So I'm gonna grab those and put those on here. You just put them on just like we did the other on the rails. And we can go ahead and check the fitment of our cover. Make sure to go ahead and pull your sides so that they, uh, so that you have them attached so you can tell if you've got this adjusted properly and such. Now when you do this, you want to make sure that you pull it tight enough that you're pulling all the wrinkles and things out of the cover. And that's a good way to tell if you have it tight enough or not. Another good way to tell is once you have it all pulled out and, and attached, if you just give it a little wrap and it sounds a bit like a drum, then you know you have it correct. So we're going to check our tailgate. All right, everything looks good. There you have it, guys. That's how quick and easy it is to install the Truxedo Truck Sport tunnel cover onto your truck. And remember, until next time, happy motoring.